it's like Bobby Ewing coming out of a shower in Dallas. Do you remember that? <laughs> Bobby Ewing and Pam wakes up and it was all a dream. The whole season was a dream. That's really what it's like. I mean, it's it's deja vu all over again, you know, all those cliches, but uh, it's great. It's just so exciting. It's 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 uh, miraculous almost. I think personalities are important for a radio station uh, on a couple of levels. I think one is the idea that people um, relate. Obviously, they relate to someone who's there. You become like their family. You know, when when we went away, so many people wrote and said, "We feel like you know somebody from our family is gone." Uh, it it's it, they relate to you on that level, especially if you've been on a long time. And as you know, most of us here had been on the air in New York City for 20, 30, whatever years at that point. I think, again, is it's something that people became so much a part of their lives. It's sort of embedded, I don't want to be crazy here, but embedded in their DNA. You know, It's like, this is one of the few radio markets, I feel, where... Not only radio and listening, but music is sort of passed along from generation to generation. What kind of music will the listeners expect to hear on CBS FM? I think they expect, they're going to expect to hear the music they love, the music that everybody loves. People have been saying it's a return of the oldies. I beg to differ. I, I don't use the term oldies. I say that this music, again, like the radio station, is so ingrained in our culture. If you watch television, American Idol, Dancing with the Stars, television commercials, movies, they all use this, what I call more heritage music. I think that music is so much in the fabric of this society. So when you say we're playing records from the 60s, the 70s, the 80s, this, this is sort of the, the core of the music that is now, to me, universal music. So that's what I think people can expect, is to hear their, their, the greatest songs, their favorite songs, from those particular decades that really, to me, uh, sort of encapsulate the, the history of, of popular music for not only the previous generations, but the next generation of radio listeners and music fans.